people with math obsessions are annoying. A few of the many are harmless, calculating pieces of shit. There are benign, even lovable technologists. Poets are, by and large, total pieces of shit. I fessed up years ago to being a ratiocinating fool. Words are either a discus or a shot put, and have been aware of frequencies of many sorts. There may be frequencies that escape my notice. The month I moved here, there was a bread and produce giveaway, and among the veggies, there were cases and cases of avocados. Good ones. I was deliriously happy. It was Euro in Pittsburgh. Over the next few weeks, the food giveaways went on per normal. Mostly too good. They're great even it was free food. Even if you consider, we have to consider the fact that death by starvation could always happen. That's among the best reasons to evoke a positive feeling in oneself when receiving free food. Ratiocination. In some ways it's a handicap. But to my sadness, avocados for the next few weeks were rotten. All to fuck. Or else they were preternaturally hard and dreadful tasting. I held hope early on. A first reaction, such as denial, anything too bad happened. Like, like something is just too bad to accept, it's too, it's too horrible to believe. But people could be run over by an 18 wheel bender built semi truck speeding 90 miles an hour. Or that the truck could smash a tiny wood frame bungalow along Poundsville Road, landing in a jackknife, people screaming. As long as no one's home in that day, to lose on Brownsville Road. I've been there many times but I've never, never felt exactly hostile towards it, nor did I ever mourn any type of loss that took place. Those miles from the base of 18th Street cars and cleared of what used to be the Century Three Mall. It's a place one could truly divorce from emotionally. I hoped the avocados would improve. It was excruciating. Tough shit. This is how it was with the avocados. They ranged from only slightly downscale to manifestly inedible. And there was a variegated time frame. It was all avocados. Now, become inedible. But while they're still holding their shape, this is like when you cut into it sometimes, an avocado, like the interior of the avocado, is both inadequate, inedible, and revolting. It becomes a terrible substance. But, but it reminds me just the same of the warty, green, rubber squeeze bulb, like the kinds used on bicycle horns, old blood pressure cages, ear syringes, too. And somehow, those miserable avocados and rubber squeeze bulbs. At different times in my life, they seem to represent the Earth. It's like a state representative in Congress representing our solar system. The avocado frequency cases upon case of rotting, miserable avocado. Some just toxically overnight. All of them in the shape of a warty green rubber squeeze bulb. I'm compelled to cite the same type of comparison. It crops up like a huge truck speeding precariously up 18th Street. That one time I was killed by a forest green Peterbilt truck. It was near the 61st Street Bridge. And people were jeering at me. People in their cars saw this happen, 
and they're yelling asshole at me. They're yelling, you're an asshole. And other people say, you're lucky you were killed just now, stupid. I was nearly killed when people were yelling at me and calling me stupid. Anyway, all these memories are a joke. That, that terrible memory. And many other bad memories have been evoked by rotten avocados. Yet they're free of charge and many are perfectly edible. So I, I'm eating avocados I got free this morning. And share with just everyone, everyone, everyone my avocado experience. Thanks so much for listening.